I tried the funding talent prop firm for 30 days. Around a month ago, I made a video called the seven worst prop firms to avoid. Among the uh, prop firms in that video was funding talent. Now I did make some mistakes when talking about funding talent in that video is I just didn't, qu didn't quite understand uh, exactly what the website was saying. Uh, and there was, that was some fault of mine. It was also some fault of the website having some inaccuracies on it as well. Uh, but all in all, the, the owner of funding talent decided to reach out to me and they were very nice and they gave me a free uh, one month with, with funding talent. So I decided to accept that offer and I traded it. Now in this video, I'm breaking down how the experience went, uh, what were the pros, the cons, do I recommend it, uh, proof of payout, and a little bit of complications I had with the payout and I'll get into all that in this video. Some of the main pros behind funding talent is that there's no challenge. So you can get paid after only two weeks uh, and they actually have really good methods for receiving the payout. Again, I'll show you that in just a little bit. Um, also, they have decent broker selection uh, which is very, very nice. I, I appreciate the, the some of the brokers they have on there uh, are actually some pretty good ones. There are Again, there are some pretty bad ones as well, so you definitely have to have some Forex knowledge to know which one to pick. You don't wanna just pick at random uh, or pick one that you've, you've heard before. Some of the cons behind Funding Talent is the rules are still very confusing. Uh, in, in the comments of that other video that I mentioned, uh, the seven worst prop, prop firms, um, they have they said that they would fix it, uh, they'd fix the rules section. To my knowledge, it's still not fixed. I'll go ahead and show on the screen right now what, it, what the, the rule, um, especially with the EAs. On the website, it should say uh, that they still don't allow them, when in fact, in, in the YouTube response from Jessica, the owner and founder of Funding Talent, uh, she clarified that they actually do allow EAs. Uh, this is one example of where it's very clear cut uh, inaccurate on the website according to what the real rules are. So it'd be nice if they would would fix the, the rules just to be absolutely clear uh, and make it really easy for everyone to understand. Another con of, of them is that only pay out 10%. Um, so it, they do pay out twice within a month from before resetting your account. However, that won't actually mean 20% gain necessarily. It'll average out to around 15% gain uh, on, on whatever money you make every month. So it can be more, uh, it can be more than 20% of what it finished at the end of the month, but it can also be less. In my case, it was less. Um, if you are, if you're negative on, on the, after the first two weeks and then you're positive uh, at the end of the month, of course you only get the payout on the end of the month. So it does matter how quickly you're able to make that first uh, but how, within the first two weeks, how quickly you can make some good money in there. So it's, it's not actually going to be 20% gain, but it does give you the 10% and then another 10%. Um, usually the second one will be larger if you are a consistent trader. Um, so that's, that's pretty cool. They do give you payouts so quickly though, after only two weeks. Uh, that is, again, uh, but I just, uh, it, it's not my, my personal uh, a cup of tea. I don't really care personally of how quickly I get paid out. I care about the amount that I get paid out. Uh, it's more important than, than how frequent personally. However, regarding the payouts, they, they gave me a one over PayPal. I'll go ahead and show that now, the proof of payment. So the proof of payment is here. I earned $715. Uh, and, and that was basically, that's getting only 10% because I was actually negative after the two week mark. I was just a little bit negative, nothing serious. Uh, and then I was able to make $7,150 after that. And then of course you get the 10% payout from that. However, here's one of the main catches from that proof. As you can see on the screen right now, you should be able to see that the, the, um, they automatically have the PayPal fee, which was $31. Um, which is fairly significant for, since it's only a 10% payout in the beginning um, to begin with. So it's, it is definitely the smallest payout I've ever gotten from a, uh, from a prop firm. In total, I really only received $683 uh, from gaining 7,000. So again, it's, it's really uh, percentage wise, it's, it's really not very good. It's, um, if, if you want to have a prop firm to make a lot of money, then this is not the prop firm for you. If you want to have a prop firm where you can get paid really quickly, this is the prop firm for you. So it really depends on who you are as a trader and for depending on who this prop firm is for. 
So that was the proof of the payout. Now let me show you some complications that I had in actually receiving the payout in the first place. So this is the e this is the first email that I received from Fun Talent Support, and it reads as follows: Upon reviewing your account for this week's payout, we determined that you use inconsistent risk throughout your trading period. To ensure this doesn't happen again, please review the rules regarding consistency. We do we do not look at lot size. We do not only look at lot size, excuse me, but the number of uh, positions you open relative to each other trading day as well. In your case, your risk percentage challenge uh, dra changed dra drastically. It's okay if you wish to be more aggressive, but then you must continue with that risk for the remainder of your trading month. Although this uh, makes you ineligible to receive your talent bonus, we will be adding this talent bonus among your funded earnings, has the amount of dollars right there. Uh, we, were, we recently added this change so that our traders who did manage to remain profitable without violating the drawdown rule uh, stay motivated. Let me pause right there. Um, first of all, in my opinion, from from what, what what they're saying there, it's really not that motivating. Um, that money, you're not going to see that money for at least three months, uh, and even when after that three months, it'll still take at least um, I believe I don't know if it's if two weeks after that period once you actually have the the live account, or if it's only or if it actually takes a whole month. But one of the two will take at least three three months and two weeks or actual four months in order to, before you, that money. Uh, even affects how much you'll actually be able to take home in your bank account. Let me, let's continue. We have recently added this change, right? So we, we realize that this consistent rule may be frustrating, but it's necessary to abide by it during the time uh, you're trading your demo account. Once you reach your live account, this rule does not apply as you will have earned much more autonomy when it comes to your account. So this is basically explaining how uh, it's, that, that money is only going towards making your account a little bit bigger. And this is the, the funded account. It only goes towards the funded account uh, a little bit bigger. It doesn't actually help with how much you get paid. So that's the first email they sent me. Uh, by the way, let me show, show you on the screen right now what my account actually looked like. It was very consistent in my opinion. Um, it didn't have any major changes in risk percentage. Uh, I was on vacation for, for a portion of this period. Uh, so I was trading from my phone. I wasn't able to use the calculators that I have on, on my home station, but I did a really good job of remaining very consistent in between one and 4% risk. Um, but usually, usually one, uh, never four from one trade, that is uh, more, more so 4% as a maximum per day among all my trades. And that actually did happen just one day. Um, but I believe that was actually the first week that I actually wasn't in this trading period at all. So I was very surprised to receive that email. My response to their email is basically what I just told you. Uh, I'll go ahead and read it now. I completely dis disagree with your accusation. My risk percentage was well calculated and allowed me to trade very well with very little risk. My maximum equity drawdown was less than 4%. Again, that happened actually in a different period, the, the first two week period. This was only the second week period uh, on any given day, but it was usually around 1% to 2% while never trading extremely small or extremely large lot sizes and remaining completely consistent with only three trading instruments. If you are going to hold, uh, if you're going to hold the talent bonus, I would like, I would like a much more in-depth explanation. I think that's very fair. If they are going to hold the money from you, they should be able to point to specific scenarios or specific instances, excuse me, of where it was inconsistent. Um, and and they were they, they never uh, were able to do that throughout any of these email sequences as you are able to see. But let's go ahead and continue with the rest of the email. Uh, it's still me talking. Number one, I'm aware of the rule, uh, but there's no area in the metrics or on the MT4 platform to track this. Is this your final official final decision? So let me go ahead and show you what the dashboard dashboard looks like for funding talent right now. So if you can see my screen, uh, we go over to account metrics. Click on analyze account. And on, on here, you can see um, that it, there is no metric of any kind uh, to, to track how consistent you are. That one just isn't on there. Um, so if they're going to have a rule and potentially not pay, excuse me, not pay you out because of it, I think it really should be a trackable metric. So however they want to do that, they should have that if they're going to hold funds from someone um, for, for that rule. They ended up getting back to me and they said the following. Would you like to provide us a breakdown of how you believe you are consistent? Uh, this would have to include your exposure per day, risk per trade, number of trades you were taking per day, etc. So this was pretty surprising to me that they still did, decided to not actually provide any sort of proof for the, for the accusation. 
uh, they decided to, to just question if I was able to provide the proof, uh, which at least in my opinion, I shouldn't have to provide that. Um, but, it, but again, it's, it's just how, how it is in this particular scenario. So I, I was willing to do so. I did email them back and here's what I said. I said, hello, thanks for getting back to me. I used Elliott Wave as my backbone strategy while, while trading on this account in combination with entry and exit strategies that remain consistent throughout the entire trading period. As I'm sure you probably know, trades should be taken when there is a ripe opportunity, not simply because there is a new or same day as another trade, while still remaining maximum, maximum per day risk parameters. In my case, 4% uh, as the absolute max per day. Using my strategy, sometimes I get an entry very close to an Elliott, uh, to an Elliott Wave rule violation, providing with me the opportunity to use more lots while keeping the risk the same uh, and under control by having a tighter stop loss. This is very true, that's exactly how I trade. Uh, if you have a smaller stop loss, um, within reason, you are able to use percentage-based, I use percentage-based risk, so if I have a smaller stop loss, I'm gonna use more lots on that trade than a trade where I have a larger stop loss. Not all trades are equal. When a trader sees a once in a week trade with an amazing setup, it's well worth it to slightly increase the risk percentage, still saying within the maximum day parameters, in comparison to seeing a high probability setup, setup they can be found each couple of hours. Any professional should know that you should use slightly less total percentage risk. I'm not arguing that my trades were 100% consistent since that's not optimal way to trade. And unless using a bot, which I know you have also a rule against, which I mentioned earlier about the EA rule, uh, it's very difficult to do. I'm making the case that my trading style, risk, percent, risk per trade adjusted for quantity and even exposure remain very consistent within human capabilities. I was very surprised to receive the email regarding the non-consistency since I was extra careful to do so for this trading account I would still like an answer if possible to the questions in my last email. Since they didn't provide the question, they didn't provide any answer to the questions in my last email, I uh, reattached the same questions, which is why they're purple here. I just copy pasted them. I uh, didn't want to type them out again. They responded, here's what they said. Hi Blake, we can certainly use this as an opportunity to learn for your future in the program. We will provide you with your payout of $715, but moving forward, we ask that the number of positions you're entering per day your exposure lot and risk percentage that you trade are a little more consistent than they have been. We are also giving you the option to receive a 50% discount on your monthly fee. Hold on, I'll talk about this in just a second. Should you choose to use your talents bonus to pay for your monthly fee rather than your funded earnings? The price will be cut in half. Just let us know how you'd like to perceive and we will move forward. So this is really interesting that, it's, that they uh, decide to do this. They offer me the opportunity to uh, use to give uh, to get 50% off the monthly fee, which I don't know if I mentioned that previously, but Funding Talent has a monthly fee um, that you can pay with with either the the amount of the amount of money that they'll pay you or your funding earning your funding earnings. So your funding earnings again, you can you can maximum you can get a maximum of five thousand dollars per month, and I I went a little above that. I went more than five thousand. I got seven thousand dollars, so I got the five hundred dollars per month into my funded earnings, that's one separate account. On my separate, on my current account, on my demo account, I was able to get uh, this payout uh, now, finally, uh, after after some back and forth emailing. So now that I've gotten this money, I can choose to, to uh, get paid a little bit less and use, um, use that money to pay for another month with them um, uh, using only 50% of, of the normal cost. Now, that's, that seems like a good option on the surface. However, if you do some math, especially for your very first month, it's much more worth it to actually pay with your funded earnings. And the main reason why is because I'm worried, about, I'm worried about a situation like this happening again where there's some question about consistency or, or another silly rule that I, I disagree with. I, first of all, I think those rules are, are um, unfounded in my opinion. I think they're a little bit ridiculous to have those that's my opinion. I understand the other opinion that the, the why they happened in the first place as well. Uh, but but you should use the fund earnings because you're, there's no guarantee that you even will make five thousand dollars for three months in a row. Uh, and if it takes you any more than three months, anyways, it's not like you won't get it the fourth month. You'll very very likely be able to get it the fourth month if you're if you make any money at all for the first four months. So it's probably going to take me uh, four months now before I actually re receive any sort of total funded account. Um, which is which is not so great, but it's okay. 
Um, so I'm able to, I was able to just pay instead of paying with my own money or paying with payout, I was able to pay with the money that I, that I will eventually get on my funded account, which I, uh, I really recommend doing that one just to save you money to be able to get more money in the, in the immediate, which is the whole point of this, this prop firm in the first place. The best thing about it is that you get paid so quickly. Uh, just let us, I'll continue with the email now. Just let us know how you'd like to, to proceed and we will move forward. And then they say this below, they say, if you choose to take any cash amount, please follow the below instructions. Number one, let us know how much cash you would like to receive. Number two, provide us with the details of your preferred payout method. Below that, the payout options we offer are PayPal, TransferWise, and Bitcoin. If you're choosing a, a cash via PayPal, please provide us with your PayPal email address. So I did choose PayPal, so I will be showing, uh, the, uh, I showed you guys the, the PayPal proof uh, before. So that was, I chose PayPal. Let me just uh, show you the last couple of emails. So there's two more, uh, and then we'll go ahead and move on to my final verdict on this prop firm. My response was, hello, thank you for your understanding. I will try to improve my consistency. I would prefer that the monthly pay fee uh, be paid with the funded earnings if possible. I would like to receive the full $715 to my PayPal account, my PayPal account uh, username. I just received another email from you with the login credentials. Am I supposed to start trading on that new account now or should I wait uh, for any set settling time or anything else? So this is kind of interesting. They actually sent me another email uh, before I was even able to respond, which by the way, it didn't take me very long to respond at all. Um, it looks like it took me uh, two hours to respond. So it took me two hours to respond and in that two hour time frame, they sent the, that first email and they sent another email with, login with different login credentials to a new account. So that's, that's why I was asking those questions in the first place. Uh, they respond, my last response, they said, hello, your payout was sent, here are your demo account details. And then I decided to continue with purple trading because uh, I believe purple trading is the best um, broker they offer. I did see someone else on YouTube had IC markets. If they do have IC markets, I would of course like to switch to, to them. They're way, way better than purple trading. But purple trading is not bad, so I will. I am happy to stick with them. Uh, we can't wait to see your progress. Please feel free to reach out to our, our team if you have any more questions. So that was the end of the email sequence. Let's go ahead and talk about my final verdict for this prop firm. One thing before I get started really quickly, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe below. Um, I, I will be making more videos like this talking about prop firms, trading and otherwise. So if you haven't already, please subscribe below. It's gonna be a great time to do it right now. Uh, other than that, let's go ahead and talk about what exactly is my final verdict with with this uh, prop firm in comparison to other ones. So for this one, who is it for? Who is the best person for to receive, uh, to, to pay for the funny talent and actually try out this one? This is gonna be people who who uh, want money right away, who, who are uh, really good traders and can remain consistent. I am very sketched out by um, the email that I got regarding the consistency because in my opinion, I was extremely consistent. I, I, pay, I already knew about the rule and I was uh, purposely being extra, extra consistent, uh, be more than usual even, uh, just to s satisfy that rule, especially for only only allowing you to use MT4. I'm a huge C-Trader fan. Um, so if they allowed you to use C-Trader and they had this consistency rule, it'd be no problem, but they only allow you to use MetaTrader 4, which uh, as I'm sure people who know what the brokers are, know how much worse uh, MT4 is in comparison to C-Trader at uh, being consistent because C-Trader actually tells you exactly how much you're risking every single time you place a trade, while MT4 does not. So that's the main consensus on, on the broker on the platform choice. The broker choice was was pretty decent. The purple trading is your, your best friend on there. Um, if they if they add in Pepperstone or IC Markets, I, again, I saw a different YouTuber had IC Markets somehow. I would love to be able to use that one instead. Then I would highly recommend it. Overall, I would say this this uh, prop firm is much better than my initial uh, my initial thoughts on it. I don't think it deserves a place in the seven worst trading prop firm video. I think it was a mistake of mine to put it in that particular video. Um, however, I would not necessarily put it at the top of my other video that I made about the best prop firms. I do think that there are better prop firms out there. Um, in, in particular, FTMO. I am about to re uh, receive my second payout with FTMO. That video is coming very soon. Um, this is this video is going to talk about the the account that I had with the um, with the LMAX FTMO C Trader. So if you if you are interested in FTMO or prop firms in general, again, please subscribe. You don't want to miss out on that video. 
Last thing to say about the funding talent, who, um, we're talking about who is it for, it's just people who want to get money really quickly. Um, if you are able to have more of a delayed gratification, I'm gonna go ahead and break down the math in another upcoming video of which what, what prop firm is more worth it for the money. So for the money in the long term, um, so, so if you, again, if you need money short term, this is the best one. If you need money in the long term, it's going to be FTMO. That's a little spoiler for that video, but I will break down the math in a future video. So again, I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you learned something. If you do want to check out Funding Talent, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Um, I would recommend this one to people. Again, I would recommend it. It is, it is a, a pretty decent one, uh, a, de a decent prop firm. And I have enjoyed using it, especially for MT4. Uh, again, I'm really not a huge fan of MT4, but 4MT4 is a pretty good experience and I would recommend. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. See that email. Here's my response to that email. I completely disagree with your accusation. My risk percentage was well calculated.